Okay, today we're going to be doing a little review on the Dremel Velocity. It's a corded oscillating tool. Uh, usually uh, it's kind of something different for me because I normally like cordless items. Uh, but there's some features about this that I like and uh, we'll go through those here in just a bit. The first thing you're going to notice though is that this thing is really beefy. Uh, it's a 7 amp motor in there and it is heavy when you pick it up. These are the accessories that come with it. Of course here are uh, destructions. Uh, you get a, a smidge of sandpaper, your sandpaper holder that uh, has the hook and loop back to it. You also get uh, a few blades. This is their panel blade and uh, that this is what they say to use for going through uh, plywood and sheet material. This is a pipe and 2x4 blade so uh, that says you can use it through copper pipe and uh, it'd be inter interesting to see how this goes through a 2x4. I don't normally use uh, this kind of tool for cutting a 2x4, but we'll see how it works. And then, of course, your regular uh, wooden drywall blade. Now, one thing that's interesting about the Dremel is you can see it has the open uh, back part right here. So that will limit some of the uh, pieces that you can use for this tool because if you if you have a, one of these already and you have all, all your bits are circular all the way around they're not going to work on this tool and I'll show you why. So something that's unique uh, to this device is the ability to put the blade in without a tool. So the, I love my uh, oscillating vibratory tool that I have. I got a, a M12 and it's uh, but the thing I hate is changing the bits out it almost makes you not want to use it. What this has is this handle right here. You, you pull this forward and you're going to see this raise up right here. And then you just slide your bit in there. Let me see if I can do this. And, and it's that easy to put it in. Right, another interesting thing about this tool is it has a foot. And it pops down like that and then you can use it to guide the saw as you make a cut or hold it steadier which when these things start to vibrate they are can be a little tricky to keep on a straight path. Alright let's see if I can cut a straight line. this makes it a lot easier to use. Um, I've tried, if I'd have done this by freehand I'd have probably wiggled through there a little bit and it wouldn't have been pretty. It's pretty easy to, uh, to get that back into it. It goes, you just press that blue button and it just pops right back around. I know that was a shortcut but the teeth are still in good shape. So I'm going to do some more cutting with this uh, over a few days and we'll see how everything holds up. That's another big gripe I have with these tools is a lot of times these blades just don't last very long it does have a dial so on the back that we'll you see. can use to adjust the speed and uh, normally I like it when these go up to 11 uh, but this goes up to hyper speed I mean, I'm fine with that oscillating tool and it's not that much smaller than the Dremel velocity and the length is really almost completely the same the this is probably about 30% heavier without me putting them on a scale and measuring but I, I thought at first that this was way heavier and way bigger and it's actually not that much more than the battery operated tool although I would really like to not have that cord but uh, yeah surprisingly it's it's not that it's not that much different. playing with this Dremel for about a week I have to say I'm actually really impressed with it so far uh, if it weren't for the cord I would be in complete love with this device uh, I even tried it out with uh, some other brands blades this is a Harbor Freight they clip in there nicely 
and everything I cut with this, I cut with the Milwaukee. As you can see, it's pretty similarly sized. You know, the Dremel's a little bit wider. But I gotta say, after having used this, this really outperforms the Milwaukee. But, I mean, it's not really a fair comparison because the Milwaukee's battery powered. Uh, but this, the cut with this is so much smoother. It's faster. You don't feel uh, the vibration through the tool uh, like you do with the uh, battery powered unit. It's just, everything about it is really sweet. Uh, there's things about it that, like for example, when I cut a 2x4, I don't know that I would be using this to cut a 2x4 too much. It's just too long of a cut. Uh, I showed you with the Sawzall that the, that just goes through it so much faster. This is not going to replace every tool in your tool bag. Uh, but uh, oscillating tools do a lot of really nifty things. And I, I really like this thing so far. Just, boy, if somebody comes out with a uh, battery powered unit with this quick disconnect feature right there, uh, they're going to be selling a ton of those things.